windy. I hope you can hear what I'm saying, okay? And um, this is one of the farms that Richie Gold traps on. So we're just working our way around now. Um, around the traps and see if there's any moles we can call. And that's what we're up to now. Tang traps. Uh, it was just perfect run for a batang trap as opposed to a, a claw trap. Nice and straight, nice, nice tight holes. And, uh, oh, I've got one. Yeah. As you can see, oh, Molly, Molly. there's absolutely no yeah. doubt that it kills them instantly. It kills them instantly. Yeah. And what are the name of the other traps that we've been? Claw traps. Claw traps. There you have it. These are a bit more fiddly to set. Mm -hmm. They take a bit longer to set, but yeah. Effective. There's, there's no doubt. I know, yeah. Behind his head. There's Richie checking a couple of the traps, um, but yeah, what lovely countryside to be out in. Even though it is not the summer, it's a pity this wasn't a summertime job, I'd be out with them every day. But um, it's a winter job. Um, but yeah, it's nice to get out, it's nice to get out and about. I love bombing around the countryside in the quad because it's a lot of fun. done for today Richie had a final count up and from that one farm he actually managed to trap 172 moles just goes to show you how destructive those little buggers can be but um, they're beautiful nonetheless and I don't like 
needless death of any animal whatsoever, but there's a reason that people trap moles and eradicate them from their land. Oh, not nice. Anyways, let's move past that. It is Christmas Eve and it's time for me to do my long standing tradition of Christmas Eve and that is make homemade glue vine. So I thought I'd share that with you. If you've never made it, it's basically just a very alcoholic version of um, mulled wine. Of course, you could make it non-alcoholic, but I ain't going to do that. So I'm going to share with you what ingredients you're going to need. First of all, bottle of red wine. Now this will serve probably about eight mugs or eight glasses of glue vine. Um, yeah, I'm just making the one batch tonight because I used to make a big vat of it, but Richie doesn't drink anymore, so I've got to drink it all myself. So I can't drink, I can't make too much of it because otherwise it's just going to go to waste or I'm just going to feel really rough on Christmas morning, which we don't want. Anyway, so one bottle of red wine, cheap red wine. Don't go wasting good wine on, uh, on glue vine. No, no, cheap crap, that does the trick. So we've got red wine and orange. Orange juice, brandy, mm -hmm. this stuff. cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, brown sugar. The only thing I could not get this year for the glue vine was whole cloves. What I normally do is split this in half and then pierce the skin with the whole cloves and put them into the pot and get them to soak. But I don't have any cloves, so I don't know how it's gonna taste this year. It might be wrecked. But anyways, let's get started. One pot. Now what I don't wanna do, when you make mulled wine, you actually burn off the alcohol. When you're making glue vine, you don't wanna be burning off the alcohol. So you need to keep it on a medium to high heat, but if the if the wine starts to boil, turn it down. You don't want to be burning off the alcohol in this bad boy. Mm. Wine. Into the pan. Thing in there. Don't be shy. And now, I'm really glad that I don't have the cloves this year because the cloves have such a beautiful scent to them. So I'm here, literally just cut orange in half and plop it in the wine. There we go. Now I'm going to be childish and look like boobies. Floating boobies nonetheless. And then about a quarter of a litre of orange juice. Out the sugar and the nutmeg and the cinnamon but this time I'm gonna make a conscious effort to do it and I think probably a heaped teaspoon of the cinnamon and the nutmeg and about five teaspoons of sugar that should be right I 
guys, you know that's not going to be enough sugar because it can be really tart if you don't put enough sugar in. So I'm going to double it and say 10 teaspoons of brown sugar. yummy goodness is just going to and just all basically dissolve into the liquid so we're going to give that maybe a few minutes to basically just raise the heat of it and get it to a simmer like I say don't let it boil if you don't want to boil off the alcohol um, just bring it to a simmer and then just keep it on a, on a constant simmer for about 10 minutes so we're just going to wait until that starts doing that there you go, told you it looked pretty gross, but I'll just keep stirring that and then as it heats up and starts to simmer, uh, all of that will dissolve and just go mix in together. And while we're just waiting on that simmer, a little glass of wine just to tide us over. Cheers! And now how is that looking? Much better. But if like me, you're 12 year old, inner child is dying to come out. Boobies! Oh dear, I can't help myself. And that's it just starting to simmer now, so I've turned it right down to the lowest setting on the hob, so I've turned it down to one. It doesn't burn up all the alcohol. Um, and I'll just let it sort of uh, just reduce down a tiny, tiny little bit, and I'll keep stirring it. I'll be ready to drink very very soon oh my god I wish you could smell this it smells absolutely divine and it smells like Christmas if you could put a smell on Christmas this would be it okay that has now been basically staying warm at the lowest heat for about 10 minutes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the oranges and keep them because they make the house smell really nice and really Christmassy so I'll keep them on a plate in the kitchen just to keep the smell going um, and then I'm going to put it um, oh I've missed a part oh I'm firing okay. so I nearly missed a really important stage but let's get the oranges out first Disgusting, but oh, smell gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so the last step before serving is add the brandy. Now, if you're a fan of brandy, add a lot. If you're not, add a little. <laughs> completely to taste, completely to taste. I'll probably put about a quarter of this bottle in. I really like brandy. Okay, make that third. That's about a third of the bottle of brandy that I've put in there. Maybe it's give or take. Anywho, right, let's see how this is going to go. Give it a stir. Looks much better. Okay, 
So I'm going to transfer that into just a jug <laughs> because this is my glass. So you can serve this in either a mug, a glass, a vase, <laughs> a jug, whatever. No. <laughs> habits spilling this sort of stuff so it's going from the pan into there and then from there into there so let's see how that goes all right so that was not successful i spilled half of it down the sink but hey <laughs> we have our pot no it's not it's a jug our glass that i'm going to be serving in let's see if i can not spill it again there we go. oh yeah no spillage no spillage so let's see Oh, it smells beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Right, let's do the taste test. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God, that warms you from the cockles outwards. It also gets you slightly tipsy from the feet up. Absolutely stunning. So I'm going to go and take this upstairs, settle down for Christmas Eve, drink the rest of it throughout the night, um, and yeah, just chill out for the rest of Christmas Eve, uh, ready for tomorrow, Christmas Day. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas. Um, if you fancy trying my glue vine recipe, give it a go. Uh, you won't regret it definitely won't regret it but yeah have a very very merry christmas and i'll see you in the new year